Hey everybody, this is Mark with AtTech. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up DDNS and remote access of your Synology server manually. This is not the way of doing it through Quick Connect. Um, this is mainly for those of you who either don't want to deal with Quick Connect or you really want to get specific what you can do, or those of you who have built your very own Synology server. We showed you how to do that in a previous video. And if you do not get a valid MAC address and IP combination, Quick Connect will not work. Let me show you what it will look like if Quick Connect does not work. So if I click Login, it will just say um, that there is an error. And this is what you're going to get every single time unless you get a valid IP and MAC address combination. So how do we set this up manually? Well, it's a little bit confusing and there's no one straightforward way, but I'm going to go over two different options um, to get you up and going. So first thing we want to do and try is open up um, your apps list or if you don't have it go to the package center and we want to get easy internet. This utility will um, do everything for you for the most part if you have the right hardware. Um, so we'll hit next and then it'll ask you if you're doing this through a router or directly to the internet. Um, I'm going through a router and then um, we'll set up our IP address and our DNS server, which for the most part you'll leave the same. Um, and then we'll hit next, and then it will identify your hardware, your router, and it will automatically set up those port forwarding rules for you. My router that I had is not actually supported, but it does use UPnP, and in my case, if I go to external access, router configuration, you can see that it did add these ports. It did open up these ports supposedly on my router. However, it didn't actually work. Um, so we still have these enabled and that's fine, but we're gonna need to do one more step. And if that's your case and it didn't work for you, this is step number two or alternative option number two. And this is do everything completely manually. So first thing we need to do is get um, a host name. My favorite um, service is no IP, and I just have no issues with it. I think it's really good. Um, so you'll set up your host name, just whatever you want to name it. You can pick a domain, and then your IPv4 address. I'm not going to show you mine because I have a couple servers set up here, but um, it will automatically fill in your um, WAN IP address. So you don't really have to even configure with that. So then after that, we'll go to DDNS, click Add, and then our provider is no IP. Um, we will enter in our host name, our username, password, and then you'll leave the external address the same because that is your WAN. Um, we'll click save, and then now you are able to access um, your server remotely. Try that again um, using port 5000 on a different network than your local network that the server is on. So maybe your smartphone. I um, mean, see if that works. Um, but if that's still not working, we're going to need to go and manually open these ports on our router. So the process of doing this is going to be very different on every single router that you have. Um, in my case, I had two routers. My modem was a router, so you had to go in and set the WAN to be your modem, then the modem to forward it to your router. Um, Synology has a great video on how to do that. And it's going to vary based on your um, router and stuff like that. So um, just set up your port forwarding for the ports that you want to use, which you can just copy right from the router configuration. It even says the protocol right here. And then finally, it should actually work. Um, so you'll enter in your, um, your address in any browser. Um, and you can follow that by the port number, just so it knows for sure what you're doing. So I did port 5000. Um, and then you should be good to go. So that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to do. It's a little bit confusing, but once you know what you're doing, it's not that bad. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with AtTech and I'll see you in the next one.